Most of the time, atrial septal defects can be closed using transcatheter techniques rather than surgery. But the real question is whether the outcomes of transcatheter closure are as good as surgery. Now in Jack, researchers report a study that compares effectiveness and long-term safety of transcatheter versus surgical closure of ASDs in adults. This is a retrospective study of more than 700 ASD closures from Canada that were pretty much split 50-50 between surgery and transcatheter closure. Primary outcomes were five-year reintervention and all-cause mortality. Secondary outcomes were one-year onset of heart failure, stroke, or transient ischemic attack. Here's what the researchers found. On the negative side for interventionalists is that the long-term reintervention rate was strikingly higher in patients with transcatheter ASD closure at 8% versus 0.3% at five years, but the majority of these reinterventions occurred in the first year. On the positive side is that long-term mortality and all secondary outcomes with the transcatheter technique were similar to surgical ASD closure at around 6%. So what does this study teach us? Given the limitations of a retrospective analysis, these data support the current practice of using transcatheter ASD closure in the majority of eligible patients and supports the decision to intervene on ASDs with significant shunts before symptoms become evident. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.